think because, especially in the uh, liberal democratic state, they're supposed to get their legitimacy from their citizens. So um, just to look at that for a moment, if the people delegitimize their government and the control that the government has and that government um, ceases to be liberal democratic or whatever it preaches to be, um, and I think that's quite scary. So in order to keep up uh, power, there has to be um, some form of manufactured consent. And when that consent um, you know, ceases to exist, if it did in the first place, or when um, people feel as though they are suffering um, enough to no longer be quiet because they were comfortable and now they just simply can't live, um, or whatever it may be, that's the impetus for action. Um, and they become loud about the fact that the government no longer represents them, then that, by de facto, it threatens the government's existence. So I think governments are very self-serving. Um, in today's world, many, many governments. Um, and so when we look um, at their fear, it's, it has to be connected back to their own destruction. Um, or their own shift or change or loss of power. Um, you know, we can see it, I think, in the United States um, with Obama, for example. I mean, he re-signed in the Patriot Act, which he didn't have to do, but he did. Um, and part of that is because it's very difficult to let go of power once you have it. Um, and that's very much uh, a strategy of, of keeping um, a certain bastion of power, regardless of you know um, whatever statements he might have or his general um, you know left or center left uh, positioning in our U.S. politics.